Hello everybody, it's Mindy and look what I have. I have a diamond art club. It's a round drill. Oh my gosh, I have a round drill. I've been getting so many squares, you guys. <laughs> Rounds are a rarity these days. And especially for this type of a painting and this artist. Ooh, tighten that up. It's about to come loose. Yeah, I don't want that to happen. All right, let me show you what I got. Excuse me. It's been sitting here for a while too. Yep. It's been sitting here for a while. Okay. So let's get into it. Here's the box. Beautiful box. Sparkly stuff. Yep. I, mm, I wish I would have had this. Well, I don't know. I'll just, I'll just be quiet for a minute. <laughs> it's my sticker. My sticker here. Oh, it's underneath the underneath my toolkit. Okay, it's hiding. It's hiding under the toolkit. All right, here is the toolkit. It's right here. Don't look. Don't look yet. <laughs> Comes with baggies, wax, pen, squishy, a multi-placer, all the stuff you need. No tweezers because it's round. No tweezers. It's round. I'm so excited. It's round, you guys, because it's a chuck pinson, and it's round drills. It is relaxing on the farm and it is 74 by 56. It's a nice size. It's round drills. It's a farm. There are horses. Be still my heart. Oh, come on. Oh, see, okay. What I was going to say is I wish I would have had this one first before Brookside Retreat, but no, Brookside Retreat is so beautiful. I might've done this one. Mm, mm, I don't know. It's so hard. It's so hard. There are so many gorgeous ones. But I do like the size of this one and the fact that it's round drills. Okay, let's look at it. Let's look and see what we get. Soft canvas, scalloped edges. Let's roll it the other way, get everything out so we can see it. Ah, oh, it's so nice to just roll a little bit and you're done. <laughs> okay. Here's our drills. Oh man, that is brown and pink. Wow, brown and pink. A lot of brown and pink. Here is the instructions, tips, tricks, code, booklet. If you have not purchased a Diamond Art Club before and you need a code, feel free to use mine. It is Mindy15. It will save you 15% on your first purchase. After that first purchase, you can find codes everywhere. In here, on your canvas, in your box. They're all over the place. This puppy has 64 colors. Wow. It does not look like there's 64 colors in that bag. But look, 64 colors. And like I said, it is brown and pink. That's the colors that popped out when I looked at it. Look at this. That's a different symbol. We got a sideways swirly G. See, he's a G. <laughs> we got a teepee. They come up with some new symbols. When you get up into 64 colors, you get some new symbols. Anything under 150 is an AB. So we got 141 white, 134 green, 133 orange, 129 a yellow. Four ABs. Relaxing. Let's relax. Relax on the farm. Start date, end date. Put this in your log book. Mm -mm. 74 by 56, which is 29 inches by 22 inches. It's not even a foot wide. <laughs> or three feet wide. I'm sorry. It's not three feet wide. I'm used to three feet wide. <laughs> Look at how pretty it is. Look how pretty. Oh, oh yes. Okay. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about it. The birds. Okay. I've seen a couple people unbox this and talk about the birds. People, they are pheasants. <laughs> Those birds are pheasants. Okay. There's two right here. That one looks like probably a female and a male. And there's like three of them over here. They're pheasants, just gonna say they're pheasants. And there's more flying in the sky. Okay, my dad used to hunt pheasants. He always had a hunting dog, 
either an English setter, he had an Irish setter for a while. There was hunting dogs. I actually went hunting with him once that I recall and watched the dog scare up the pheasants. I don't think my dad ever got one, but you know, there's that. <laughs> um, the two horses are just hanging out in the yard back here. Um, apparently no fences are needed in a Chuck Pinson painting. They just wander around and they're, they're good. <laughs> You got an old tractor back here. You got a buckboard kind of wagon here. The whiskey barrels, which have flowers coming out of them. Because, you know, what do you do with old whiskey barrels? You, you plant flowers in them. Of course, you got flowers along the stone wall here. Your rake and your hoe. Um, I believe there's a kitty cat up here or a dog. I don't know. It looks kind of large to be a cat. I think it's a small dog, but... And then, look, oh, sorry, we have a pheasant on the fence, on the, the, the stone wall. We'll call it the stone wall. And yes, these are cabbage. Why we have cabbage growing outside on this, of the stone wall, I don't know. They could be decorative cabbage. There is such a thing. Oh, there's another bird flying right there. I'll be darned. There's another one. Anybody kept track of how many birds there are? This looks like wheat growing back here. I could be wrong, but it looks like wheat. Um, it's beautiful. Look at that sky. Mountains in the background. The nice big red barn. The old farmhouse. It's gorgeous. Love this kind of a screen door, this wooden screen door. You can still buy those. <laughs> love it. Love it, love it. Okay, have I talked about it enough? Let's look at the canvas. Now remember, it's round drill, so the image is not going to pop off this canvas like it would with square drills. Everything just looks kind of faint. You see what I mean? Looks kind of faint and um, doesn't show up like it does on a square drill painting. Something about the way square drill paintings are printed, you get more of the picture shows up. Do not be mistaken that this will not turn out. It will turn out. It's definitely going to turn out. It's just harder to pinpoint stuff when you just look at the canvas this way, okay? I mean, like you can faintly see the two horses are here. Here's the wagon. You can kind of tell that these are barrels over here. You get like a faint image. Here's two of our pheasants. We know there's more pheasant over here. They will pop out and be visible when you put the drills down. You can see the cabbage pretty good, <laughs> right? Like, it's really hard to even see the stone wall here. But we know there's a stone wall, but it's just hard to pick it out. The stone wall is all of this in here, right? But there's several colors here. The symbols are not the color of the drills. Let's just put it that way. These symbols are pink and green, and the wall is going to be grays and browns right? So the symbols don't represent the true colors like this house. The house looks like it's red and blue striped, right? It's not red and blue stripes. It's white and gray. So these are going to be white and gray symbols, not pinks and blues, what they look like in the canvas. So you just have to go, go with it. Trust it. Trust the process that this is going to turn out beautifully, okay? I wish I could work on it right now. I do, okay? Just to show how it will turn out, the round drills. So anyhow, it's gonna be gorgeous. It's going to be gorgeous, that's all I can say. You get a faint light image of what it's gonna look like. All right? Okay, let's look at the drills because the colors in this painting are very interesting. Like I said, it's a lot of brown, pink, I want to see if I can do something real quick, just for a quick example, like the up arrow and these two slashes. So the up arrow is number 62. Remember that 62. Oh, this will be easy. And the slashes are 63. So let's find they're 3860 and 3861. I don't know if I'll be able to find them like that or not, but 3860, 3861. Probably not. Mm, mm, mm. Nope. Can't do it. Can't do it. <laughs> uh, okay. We'll look for those in a minute. We'll see if I can find them. And I'll show you that they are not those colors. All right. 
gray. Taupe. There's our 3371. Oh, there's one. No, that's 3064. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nope, not right. I'm on. Look at grays and tans and peaches. Gray and tan and peach. Gray and tan and peach. <laughs> okay, we have pink flowers. All right, but peach and tan. <laughs> Oh boy. I'm having fun today. Okay, we got green. Green. Peach. Tan. Brown. Um, here's our AB. There's one of them. This pretty yellow. 129 is a very pretty buttery yellow AB. Hello. Focus. Picks up all the colors. It's got iridescent coating on it. Love it. Beautiful. Ooh, look at that one. The orange one. That's beautiful. Love that orange. Some more flower colors. Yellow. That's a bright yellow. Okay. Still looking for those uh, 3861 and 3864. <laughs> Plum. There's the white AB. Super pretty. We got a bright orange, some pinks and purples, because we do have those flowers. Oh, there's a green. Very pretty. Nice, pretty green. Not a bunch of it. We'll see if we can find where it goes, though. <clears throat> All right. Well, here's 38. Here they are. No. Nope. Yep, 3860 and 3861. Okay, here they are. They are my chocolate frosty color. The house is going to be this brownish color. Hmm. Huh. There you go. Not blue. Not red. Brown. All right. And we got a couple greens in there as well. So you see what I mean? The colors don't necessarily match the drills. The canvas the drills. They just, they're not the same, okay? So you have to trust this process with rounds. That's all I'm saying. Did I go on too long about that? Probably. Anyhow, I hope it made sense. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Let's see what we get. I'm just going to go across the canvas, look for one, two, three, four. Okay, we got threes down here in the grass. That bright green. Threes in the grass. All right. One, two, three, four. Do, 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 do. Ones and twos in the barn. Ooh, lots of twos in the barn. That orange color is making some of these stripes, the lines, and the door is the ones, which is the yellow. Awesome. Okay. So a lot on the front of the barn. A, B. What else do we have? I'm scanning across, scanning across. Sorry. I have to have something to do while I look to entertain you, right? <laughs> Ones, the yellow in the sky. All right. In the sky. Ones, white. That's white. More ones, more white, more ones. Yellow and white, yellow and white, yellow and white. In the sky. All right. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Can you count with me? Mm -mm 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 -mm. <laughs> I mean, you guys do this someday, okay? Just, just try. Just try. Okay, more of the greens down here. The bright green in the cabbage. Of course, in the cabbage, right? And then the house. Ones. The yellow. I haven't found... Oh, I did find some white in the sky. It would seem like there'd be more white somewhere else, but I haven't found any. All right. Yellow. 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 Yellow, yellow, mellow, yellow, doo 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 doo, yellow in the house. <laughs> All right. Um, it, really, is that the only place that we have the whites? Is up here? I think it is. I don't see them anyplace else. All right. Well, that's the general gist of what we got, folks. That's it. Okay. So, yeah. I would like to just do this one without a chuck along. Just, you know, just do it. 
and show everybody how pretty it will turn out. I just want to do it. I mean, we got horses, barn, old house, pheasants, beautiful sunrise set thing going on by the mountains. Gorgeous. Okay. I'm going to go. And uh, now that I've made a fool of myself completely, that's all right. What's not, what's not to make a fool of? I can make a fool of myself. I can act silly and goofy and whatnot. It's fun. It's fun. <laughs> there is a ton of this color, the slash mark, that one of the frosty colors. There is so much of that. See all of this reddish color everywhere? That's that frosty color. Cool. All right. I am done talking now. All right. Have a great day, everybody. Um, hope you enjoyed and I hope you'll come back. I hope this wasn't, you know, torturous. <laughs> and um, I'll see everybody soon. Okay. All right. Love you guys. Thanks for what you do. All right. Talk to you later.